Hi, Mr. Mac, and I've got some sound waves to demonstrate today with tuning fork. Tuning fork has two prongs that can vibrate backwards and forwards at a certain frequency. So when I strike the tuning fork, we would expect to hear a sound. Now you may not be able to hear that, it's a very high pitched ring, and then there's a lower sound, which is quite a mellow sound. To amplify the sound, I've got some sound boxes here to resonate and to make the sound louder. So here we go, I'll put it in. And this time, listen carefully. And you can hear quite clearly that there's a note. Now this one vibrates at 256 times every second, which is the note middle C. That's what we hear. It's very important that we can use tuning forks to describe interference in waves. So I have another one here, which is a tuning fork that will vibrate at 440 times every second, or 440 hertz. Quite clearly, that's a higher note. The note is A on the piano. It's the note that a whole orchestra will tune up to. Now I have a, an identical tuning fork here, but you'll notice that on this side here there has been placed a small weight. And that will make the tongs vibrate a little slower. In other words, less frequent. Not by much, but you'll hear the difference quite clearly. And you can hear the notes slightly lower, because it's vibrating slightly less. Now let's start off with the 440 hertz, the A note. And I'll now get the second one vibrating. Now if you can hear that, there's a beat or a change in volume that goes up and down, up and down, up and down, about twice every second. I'll do it again. See, turn the volume up on your computer so you can hear the difference. Now that change of frequency going up and down, up and down of volume sounds in our ears and is called beats. And the frequency of the beat will tell us how far out these two tuning forks are from each other. So if this is 440 hertz and we hear two beats every second, then this will be 438 hertz. In other words, prongs are vibrating backwards and forwards 438 times every second. A little less than what it would be if the weight hadn't been there. Now that's the principle of how orchestras are tuned up. You might hear them tuning up when the conductor comes in, they all play the same note, and that's the note A. And the conductor can hear if there is someone that's out of tune. And they'll get the musician to tune up the instrument so that they're all in the same tune. It's how I tune up my guitar, and how piano tuners tune up the piano. It's all about beats. And to calculate the beats, it's simply the difference between the two frequencies. So 440 minus 438 is two beats per second, or two hertz. That's beats. I'm Mr. Mac. Thanks for listening.